All right, you guys, per request, I am doing an evening routine and a morning get ready with me routine, which I'll show my skincare, a little bit of a pamper routine, not my full pamper routine. And tomorrow morning, I'll show you my skincare and my regular, just everyday makeup. So I always start my evening routine with Clinique Take the Day Off, Ooh, reflection. So. It's been a beautifully, it's been a beautiful day, really fun, but I'm ready to have some me time. So I'm going to shower, do a facial, and relax. So I love this stuff. It's like $30, but it is so worth it. You only use a little bit every day to take your makeup and moisturizer off. It's like the first step to my double cleanse. So I'll do this before the shower. I just like start rubbing it on my dry face. And then in the shower, I scrub my face with a towel to make sure it all comes off. Well, first I dampen it, and then I scrub my face. And then I make sure it all comes off. And then I use the CeraVe facial cleanser, the gentle facial cleanser. Let me show you. Hydrating facial cleanser, CeraVe. This is my second cleanse in the shower and then the same thing i use like a little washcloth just to like make sure everything comes off this like loosens all the makeup and moisturizer mascara and i just rub it for a while on my dry skin and then in the shower i just wet my hands a tiny bit and then keep going and then i rinse it off and scrub it off and it's really really effective Whenever I do my acid on a cotton swab, after I do this, the cotton swab comes out white because everything comes off. And that's probably the most important thing to cleansing your skin is making sure you actually get everything off. But there's a fine line between getting everything completely off your skin and stripping your moisture barrier. You don't want to overdo it to where you feel tight and dry. So that's why I use this gentle cleanser versus like a really foamy one because that strips your moisture barrier, especially at my age. I need something to keep the hydration in. So I think this is enough. I'm going to go ahead and hop in the shower, finish this step, do that step, and then I'll show you the rest. I just want to say, are we not so blessed that we have running hot water and we can go to bed nice and clean every night? we are so blessed so i love my fuzzy slippers i got them on amazon and i'll provide links for anything i bought off amazon in the description box below this laser hair removal treatment i do probably every other day i do my underarms as well as my lip and every now and then i'll do my arms or my legs but i'm not very consistent with that i'll try to do four times on each spot and i have definitely noticed that it works great people always wonder if it hurts it does not hurt it feels like a little flick and that's it tonight i'm doing a matcha green tea face mask so i just mixed some matcha green tea with some raw honey a little bit night clay and water Sometimes I add activated charcoal, but tonight I just stuck with the matcha tea and honey. I'll leave this on for about 15, 20 minutes while I let it set on my face. I'm going to go pick out my jammy jams for the night. We've been using homemade deodorant for almost eight years now and still love it. I have a video where I share how I make it, so I'll put that in the description box. I usually do not apply it on the nights that I shave my underarms because it would burn, but tonight I didn't, so I did use my deodorant. Two nights ago, I used my pure self-tanner, and last night I used my Jergens Glow Lotion, so tonight I'm just moisturizing with basic Jergens moisturizer. My legs, my feet, my hands, my arms and it's time to remove my facial mask. Green tea is a rich antioxidant and so good for your skin and bentonite clay extracts toxins, so it's really cleansing. And then of course the honey is so moisturizing. I love the nights that I get to do facial masks. 
right after my mask i'm gonna go ahead and use my water pick which is kind of like a little water gun that shoots water in between your teeth and flosses for you it is my favorite i also love my new little mini fridge and tonight i am doing my quartz roller instead of a jade roller it's a quartz roller i don't know if this works or not they say supposedly it helps with circulation or stimulating the muscles in your face causing them to work and reduce wrinkles and fine lines that's great if it works yay if it doesn't work i don't care it feels like a at-home spa treatment it is so relaxing and so soothing i always get so drowsy and it's nice and cold from being in the fridge So I do wonder if there's any truth to this being effective in any way because it is true your face feels very stimulated for quite some time after you do the rolling so who knows. Tonight is Retin-A night, so I'll be mixing a little bit of Retin-A with a little bit of my night moisturizer, and I spread it, avoiding my eyelids and around my mouth until I have barely any left on my hands where most of it has been absorbed by my skin, and then I wipe the remainder on my eyelids and around my lips and neck and chest. I share my complete morning and evening skincare routine in another video which i'll put in the description box so you can check out what i do on my non-retin-a nights you guys know that i've used the flawless little face shaver for women but it keeps on dying out too quickly so i've switched over to these tinkle razors which are way cheaper and honestly better so i encourage you to try them i've also been loving my pure face tanner which i'll probably use tomorrow night i share how i use that in my self tanner review i'll put that link in the description box as well Last, I moisturize my lips with some Vaseline and my cuticles with some vitamin E oil. I'm also going to take a little lavender essential oil to my bedside and put it in this diffuser for a relaxing evening with hubby until we doze off and go to bed. Okay, it's morning. This is the first time I look in the mirror all morning. I just made some German pancakes with blueberry syrup and bacon for the kids, and it's time for me to get ready for the day. Obviously, first thing I'm gonna do is brush my teeth, and I just lightly cleanse my face with my CeraVe, just a little drop, and I will rub it in for maybe 30 seconds to a minute, and then I'm ready to do my skincare and makeup. I'm trying to finish my coffee real quick. I don't like brushing my teeth before I'm done with my coffee. <laughs> He 
here I'm using the same CeraVe face cleanser that I used last night just to freshen my face up for the morning before doing my skincare and makeup. I don't thoroughly dry my face because our skin is much more absorbent when it's damp. My first step is my vitamin C serum. It lasts a lot longer in that mini fridge. I do avoid my eyelids and around my lips with my, this vitamin C serum. Then I go all over my face, neck and chest with my niacinamide. You guys know how much I love this serum. It is the reason why I have so few breakouts anymore. And the vitamin C has truly given my face a beautiful natural glow. I have really enjoyed both these products. Next, I do my CeraVe moisturizer with SPF. And while this dries, I'm gonna go pick out my outfit for the day. filming when I did my beauty balm so this is the one I use it's pretty much just a tinted moisturizer with SPF but I love the way it goes on it's very natural it blends in really nicely there's no shine to it for dates and Sundays for church I use a regular foundation of course I don't always use concealer on my everyday makeup, but today I am just to cover the dark circles a little better. I also put a little of the concealer on my brow bone to brighten my eye. I've really been enjoying this beautiful blush. It's so rosy and it makes me look sun-kissed even though I have not been in the sun. I've been applying it right on the apples of my cheeks. I've been applying a little more than I normally would because I just really, really like the shade. It's lovely. I also don't always do anything to my eyebrows on just a regular day, but today I'm going out, so I am filling in just a little bit of my brow. I usually start in the middle and go towards the end of the brow and then just touch a tiny bit in the beginning of the brow so it's not overwhelmingly dark. I use this eyeshadow palette so much that I went ahead and purged all my other eyeshadows because I don't remember the last time I used any other eyeshadow besides these. I really like this color. It's like a metallic rose pink. So I just do one color on my lid and maybe a little bit in the C, the crease of the eye, but not much. And then just Maybelline mascara on the top and bottom lashes. And I recently purchased this coconut oil based lip gloss that I've really been enjoying. It's very natural, very moisturizing, and I will definitely post the link in the description box for you. And this is it, ladies. This is my typical everyday makeup. I do this when I leave home and when I stay home. I don't know why, maybe it's just habit, maybe I just feel like if I'm dressed and put together, I'm ready for anything, I don't know, but I definitely think it's natural and less is more, like I always say. I definitely feel that more in my more mature years, that less is more. These are my everyday earrings, which I love. I also got a brand new purse that I am in love with. I'm so excited. I haven't had a new purse in a very long time. It's really cute. So I hope you enjoy this video, that it inspires you to put a little something on every day, but not to overdo it. Please like, it really, really helps me. Subscribe, share. Thank you so much to all my patrons and all of you that have been with me for so, so long. We are almost at 17,000 subscribers, so definitely excited to see that happen. God bless you guys and see you next time. Thank you.